this is Mayu, and welcome to another easy anime manga tutorial. Many of you have been asking for another Disney princess, and I think it'll be fun to draw Belle. If you want easier drawings, you can see my fun to draw cute and easy playlist. For other easy anime manga videos, you can see these. And for more detailed drawings, you can see this playlist. I hope my different art can help you improve your skills in different ways. Okay, so first, let's draw Belle's face. I'll start with a simple line going down like this. This will be part of the side of her face. Okay, now I'm going down towards the chin. There's a slight curve right here for her face, like the cheek area. And then I'll go down at an angle. Okay, I'll stop right around there. The chin's gonna be kind of pointy and small. Let's go up once you have a little point. Go up towards the other side of the face and then curve slightly for this cheek area. Okay, I'll stop right around there because afterwards I'm gonna get in some of her nice beautiful hair and then the earring. So for now, I'll just end the line right here and let's move on into her face. To start the facial features, I like to start with the nose. So pick a spot, maybe right around there. I'll go down slightly, like that. This will be a short little nose, so it's not going to be too big or long. And then I just drew another short line going the other way. There are many different ways to draw anime or manga noses, but this is just one of them. Okay, so once you have this a little bit darkened, move down towards the mouth. So I'll leave a little gap, come down here, and then I want to draw a little curve going across. So something like that. I'll make her mouth open so she's really happy. So we have the top line for the mouth. And now to make the mouth look like it's open, go down at an angle. So curve down like that. Actually, some anime characters just have mouths like that. I think it's pretty interesting. But for this tutorial, I like to draw another line to finish the shape a little bit more. So there are many different ways to draw all kinds of anime manga characters. That's just one of them. Okay, so I have this line going down. And I did leave a little gap in here because most anime manga characters tend to have a little space in there. Of course, some don't. Sometimes the mouth is completely closed off. But for this tutorial, I like to keep the little gap in there. Alright. So once we have the big smile, let's go into her eyes and eyebrows. I'll start with this side first. Now because you can see this face is kind of facing off at an angle, she's not exactly looking at you front on, this side of the face will be a little bit bigger than this side. So let's start with the eyebrows. I'll go up here, dot the spot so you can see where I'll begin. Okay, from this dot, let's go up at an angle, like that. All right. Once we have a long curved line, let's draw another smaller curve, just like that. Okay. So we have this eyebrow right here. This front end is a little bit thicker than the back end to make it look more graceful. Make that a little bit longer. And now let's leave a gap from the bottom part of the eyebrow. Leave a little gap to form the top part of the eye. So right now I'm drawing the upper eyelid and I want to go down slightly at an angle like that. I'll draw a short little line. I like to draw different lines in here to make the top part of the eyelid look thicker. I think usually when that happens, it makes the character look better because there's more focus in the upper part of the eye. 
And that just brings out the eye more. Okay, now I'm making this really dark. So it's quite thick. And in this corner, for this tutorial, I like to shape the eyes like this. There's going to be a little point, like a triangular corner. So I made the point, now I'm going down. And then I just want to go down right here to form this shape. And if you want a more detailed step-by-step -step manga eye tutorial, you can see this video. Okay, so once I have this area nice and dark, let's move on to the rest of the eye. Okay, so let's leave a big gap and then I'll draw the bottom part of the eyelid right around here. So I'll dot the spot so you can see. Draw a small curve going up. Just like that. Okay. Now let's draw a big pupil. So from this part of the eye to this part a big curve going down like that and then from here let's draw another curve and it's going to just go down like that because she's looking back towards you there's not going to be so much empty space between the line of the pupil and the actual edge of the eye so that's why I drew this line right at the edge of the eye okay once we have this big shape let's go inside the Eye. Let's go inside the eye and draw a big highlight right around here. And another one, let's say right around here. On the bottom. Okay. So for this tutorial, I'll just have the two highlights like that. And then underneath, let's draw the pupil. The pupil is going to be an oval and it'll go underneath the different lines for the highlights. So here's part of the oval and then just complete it on this side here. Okay, And shade in the pupil. It's got to be really dark but the highlights will remain white for a shiny look. Okay, so basically we're done drawing the different parts of the eye. But this kind of looks quite intense because you've got the really dark pupil and the really white iris around the pupil. So to soften that look, I like to add a little bit more shading on top here. And this is very similar to how I shade my fun to draw eyes in my fun to draw tutorials. So basically I want to start with a dark area on top. So I'm going around the highlight here. Okay, I'll stop right around there. So now you can instantly see by adding the dark area on top, you kind of soften the contrast between the dark pupil and the bright areas around it. Okay, let's soften it a little bit more by adding some more lines. So I'll leave a space and then draw another line like that and continue that a little bit more as I go down the eye. Okay, so I have a few little lines with empty spaces between them. Now I'll go on this side here and draw a few more of these lines with spaces in between. Okay, so I have about four little lines on each side. Okay, so now we're down the pupil. Let's go back up here and I like to add some little nice pretty eyelashes, just a few. By drawing these simple curved lines at the corner. If you like, you can just repeat that all along this top part, but for me, I like to just put it in the corner there. So she's got nice lashes. There we go. Okay, so we have one eye done. Let's go into the other side here. So I'll do the same thing with the eyebrow. Let's curve the line like that. But because this side of the face is turned away from you, Everything will be more curved than this part and everything here will be a little bit more 
everything here will be a little bit more smaller and narrower. Okay, so we have the eyebrow, and now let's go into the top part of the eye. Okay, so I'm curving my lines just like that. Okay, now for the dark area for the lash line. Let's draw another curve like this, followed by one more curve for the thickness, and then in here, shade it in. Alright. It's great to hear that many of you told me you follow along with me step by step in my different tutorial videos. I think that's a really good idea because you guys are not only going to learn how to draw, you know, this particular thing, but you're also learning all the different techniques and tips that you can use to apply to your other drawings later on. Okay, so we have this, and now let's go down into the bottom part of the eye. So leave a space and go right, in, go right down here. Okay, let's add a little bit of the point, not too big. To make this side kind of look like this side, but turned away. Alright, now for the pupil. So she'll be looking back towards us. There will be more space on this side of the pupil from the edge of the eye. So let's do the same thing. So let's start around here as a curve. So it's going to be a little space between the edge of the eye and the pupil. And then right around here, let's finish up the shape of the pupil like that. Okay, now highlights. So again, with the top one as an oval. And then the bottom one kind of looks like a little teardrop. So let's get that in. Like that. And then the rest, so we've got the pupil hiding behind the different areas in the eye. Shade it in. And the shading, let's just draw a little bit of the dark lines coming around the top part of the pupil. Finish it up with a few little lines coming down. Okay, so we have Belle's beautiful eyes all done. I think for fun, let's just add a few little cheek lines. Many anime and manga characters have these cute little blushing lines, or just extra texture lines, I think, on their cheeks. Okay, before we move on into the hair, let's just get in some more lashes. Gotta get some more lashes just in this little area. Okay, perfect. So we have her face. Now for her beautiful hair. So let's take a point. Let's see, this is probably the middle part of her forehead. Just move up a little bit more until maybe right around here. This is where the part is going to be for her bangs. So I'll draw one part first as a curve, like that. So I have a curved line going down and it'll fall off of this face line. Okay, I want to make her hair a little bit fancier looking. So let's draw the bangs wavy for a more glamorous look. So I have this line coming around. It's going in and out. It goes in towards the cheek. And now it'll go out again. So something like that. Okay, now on this side, let's draw something similar. So I have a line. It'll go near the eyebrow. And then it'll go past the eye and down. And I have a little wavy end to it. Okay. Now from this part, let's move up. Leave a gap. This is where I'll start the second line to finish the different shapes of the bangs. So curve up a little bit. 
I'll curve around. And then I'll go in. So this part is very skinny. Now from here, I'll draw another line going around like that. And it will kind of follow this piece. Like that. Okay. Now on this side, let's draw a big curve. It'll curve all the way around like that. Curve out a little bit to follow this curve. Go in and around. All right. So we have the basic shape for her bangs. And let's add a little bit more detail inside the hair. Because this is an easier manga tutorial, I don't want to add so many details in the hair to make it easier for most of you to follow along. So I have just a few little lines to break up the shape. And if you guys want more of a challenge, then you can always look at my other more detailed manga drawings. Okay, so I have a few little lines just coming around here and there, breaking up the big spaces in the hair to make it look more natural. There we go. Okay, so we have her bangs. Excellent. Let's draw a little round earring while we're in this general area. Just poking out from behind the hair. And now for the back of her head and the top. So let's imagine that this facial line goes up, it curves around behind the hair, and it goes into the round part of her head. So let's start it right around here. Okay, so curve around. Let's make a big curve. Like that. I'll draw a slight little bump for part of the hair that's coming up. Okay, so we have the round top and behind for her hair. Let's draw a big group of hair coming from the front and it's being pulled towards the back. Like that. Okay. Of course, everything's being pulled behind, so let's draw a few little lines to indicate the direction of the hair as it's being pulled back. Okay, now for the round part in her hair in the back. Just draw a round oval shape. I think I'll make that a little bit bigger, so let's just draw another line. There we go. Just to add more volume. And a few little lines inside for extra detail. Okay, excellent everyone. So we have most of our hair done. Now let's draw the hair coming down past the neck and the shoulders. So let me start on this side here. From this line, I'll curve around and out to show more volume. So let's have her nice, beautiful, wavy hair coming down. So I have a big bump. Curves in. Okay. Let's repeat something similar over here. So draw another big, wavy line going like that. Okay, so I have these two long wavy lines. Let's draw one more wavy line, maybe right behind the earring. It'll come down, okay, like that. Keep coming down. So here's a big wave. And curve it. All right, for the ends, let's draw a big line going up like this. And then to fill in this area, just draw another curve. Just like that. Okay. 
So now we have the different shapes for the hair on this side. Once you have that, fill them in a little bit with some more of these texture lines. There we go. So we have the hair, and now let's draw a little bit of her body before I draw the other part of her hair poking out from the other side. Okay, so for her neck, let's draw a line coming from near the ear, or where the ear is supposed to be if she didn't have the earring. Just a line like that, coming down. Another line can go near the chin, and go down. For part of her shoulder, I like to slope it a little bit, like this. Go across, and then round the shoulder before going down. Okay. Now for part of her beautiful dress, I'll summarize a few of those details to make it easier for more of you to follow along. So let's draw a little line cutting off this line here of the shoulder. So this is part of her dress that goes in towards the middle part. And I'll make a little jewel in there, like a little circle, before going back out the other way. Okay. I love Belle's dress. I think it's so elegant and so glamorous. And I really like this part here. Okay, so we have this line. Let's just finish this area of the dress by making it look thicker. And you can see I'm using round shapes and lines. Nothing's too jagged or too hard because I want the fabric to look soft. Okay, and again, just goes out towards the other shoulder, but it's hidden on this side. Okay, and now a little bit of her front. So I have the line for her chest and imagine it going down, and then just draw a curve like that. And of course the shoulder leads into the arm, so let's imagine this line going down, and down like that. Okay, excellent. So we have her dress, let's draw a little bit, let's draw a few little wrinkle lines in the fabric for a softer look. And now for the other hair, on this side. I don't want to draw too much because I don't want this drawing to look too busy. We already have lots of detail in the hair here, so for this side I'll just keep it simple. Just one little wavy line, maybe with a few little texture lines. And I'll draw a little bit of her collarbone, just for some realism. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. I love to hear your thoughts. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already so you won't miss new manga, fun to draw, personal art, and other challenges. There you go!